Coming up on today's video, I want to dive into some offensive free agent targets that the New Orleans Saints could look to sign to pair up with new offensive coordinator Clint Kubiak. And for yesterday's video, I broke down the official hiring and the news becoming officially official. Plus, we also talked about some 49ers free agents that could follow him to the Big Easy. So in this video, we're not really going to talk about any 49ers players. But if you want to check this one out and see what Niners players I want the Saints to sign, the link is in the comment section description of this video. But I think that there are some things to know before we dive into these free agent targets. So one, a big staple of the Kyle Shanahan offenses is 21 personnel. So I could see Clint Kubiak bringing some of that over to New Orleans. So for those of you who don't know, 21 personnel, it's two running backs, one tight end. The run game in those Shanahan offenses and as a part of the Kubiak offense is very, very important. You have to establish the run to be have a successful pass game in those offenses because it creates or it has so much motion, so much movement, and so many weapons and outlets to get the ball to that it just creates havoc. Everyone is also a pass catcher. Kyle Juszczyk, the fullback, is a pass catcher. Juwan Jennings, Ray Ray McLeod, Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk, George Kittle, Charlie Werner, all these guys, Christian McCaffrey, all of these guys are expected to be pass catchers. And in terms of the needs, Wide receivers, offensive tackle, offensive guard, and running backs are the four offensive needs that I believe the Saints have this offseason. And just kind of going back to this pass catcher note, I think that that is a really good fit for New Orleans because they have a lot of guys who can be versatile, aka like, like an Alvin Kamara, like a Chris Olave, like a Rashid Shahid, and like a Taysom Hill. But I want you to shout them out for me, Saints fans. Who's your number one free agent target that you want to New Orleans to bring in this offseason. About to give you guys a handful, so if you don't know, just hang around and I'll give you guys some names so you can cheat a little bit. So let's talk about it. First set of players I want to discuss is the wide receiver room because Derek Carr needs some pass catchers and you got a lot of guys that are going to be either free agents or or, or expected to leave uh, in free agency this offseason. So Calvin Ridley, Michael Pittman Jr., Marquise Brown, Noah Brown, I think all four of these guys would be stellar options that I think the Saints could also afford after they move around a bunch of that money and clear up some of that cap space. But the two guys I want to highlight with this, Calvin Ridley, Michael Pittman Jr., both of them have really, really good production. Michael Pittman Jr., 156 targets, 109 receptions, 1,100 yards, four touchdowns, and over 10 yards per catch. Ridley, he is a player that has been around the league for a long time, has some familiar familiarity, excuse me, in the NFC South, 76 receptions, over 1,000 yards, eight touchdowns, and 13.4 yards per catch. I'd love to see one of these two guys wearing the black and gold, but I want to leave it up to you. On those four players, just pick one. Just give me a CR for Calvin Ridley, MP for Michael Pittman, NB for Noah Brown, or MB for Marquise Brown. But if you don't like any of these four guys, what about one of these five? You go get a Darnell Mooney, a Gabe Davis, Odell Beckham Jr., Tyler Boyd, Curtis Samuel. Those are all really intriguing options that I think the Saints could improve if they bring any of these guys in. Now, I will say this. You can't afford a Mike Evans. You can't afford a T. Higgins. But if you F Mike Evans, Saints aren't going to sign him. I wouldn't want him here anyway. I'm just kidding. He's a really good football player. But... Rivalries are rivalries. Anyway, I just don't think that the Saints are going to be able to make a splash free agency signing like they did last year because of how much they are over the cap. But I do think that one of these guys could be a really good option for Derek Carr. But let's give him some help in the running back department because Alvin Kamara, let's call a spade a spade. He didn't get any younger. Production's been on the decline. Sure, the offensive line needs to be better. But it's also not like he's getting any younger. Tony Pollard could be an option. Austin Eckler, he's a dual threat pass uh, pass catcher, running back. He's really talented, but he's kind of been on the decline over the past few years. Zach Moss helped me win a fantasy football championship this year, so I personally am pretty high on Zach Moss. I actually think he's a good football player as well. And DeAndre Swift offers a lot of dual threat ability in, over with the Philadelphia Eagles. He also spent some time with the Detroit Lions as well. So... My one piece that I want to make this very clear is do not overpay an aging running back. Do not go and make a splash signing and overpay Austin Eckler a ton of money. You're not realistically going to get a lot of production for a long time from a guy like Eckler. 
or from a guy like, I mean, or like Ezekiel Elliott, for example. Like you don't, I don't think that that makes any sense for the Saints to go do. If you are replacing Kamara, it needs to be a cheaper but still talented player. I think you have that in Kendra Miller. We're still unsure because he had limited sample size and he has injury, uh, injury history. But I do not want the Saints to overpay an aging running back. But if you can get one on an affordable contract, maybe that's a different story. But guys, I also want to encourage you before we keep this thing moving, subscribe for our live free agency coverage. We're going to go live all throughout free agency every single week on Wednesday at 4 p.m. Central Time. And then when NFL free agency first opens up, we're going to be live during those few days. So help us reach our off-season goal of over of 35,000 subscribers. We're at 25,950. We're making some progress, but I need your help, and I need your help with this video. So let's rack them up, and let's go get that number ASAP. All right, to get back to the running back discussion, yes, I love Alvin Kamara. I do not want to see him go anywhere. But the reality is, if you trade or cut him after June 1st, you are saving a lot of money. Jamal Williams, a little bit of, or not a little bit, a very underwhelming season when Two years ago, he was the leading rusher for touchdowns in the NFL, and last year he didn't score until the last play of the offensive, uh, or last offensive play of the season. Kendra Miller, a really good player. James Robinson, Jordan Mims, those guys are on your practice squad. Eno Benjamin is a free agent on the practice squad as well. Or not on the practice squad, he's on the active roster technically. Adam Prentice, he is a fullback. He uh, is a restricted free agent this year, so maybe the Saints look to bring him back. But let's call it what we need to do. The Saints just have to get better. The Saints offense needs to be better. I love Kamara. I really, really do. And I'm not saying a guy like Clyde Edwards-Alaire or a guy like Josh Jacobs, J.K. Do I'm not saying that those guys are going to be better. But I'm saying that they might be cheaper. You might be able to get good production out of them. And I also think that it could make some sense for the Saints in terms of getting some draft, or, you know, maybe getting some draft capital back, maybe clearing up some cap space. Out, moving on from Alvin Kamara could be a realistic world that we live in, but Saquon Barkley, really intriguing option. Devin Singletary, he's been good in Buffalo and in Houston. J.K. Dobbins, if he can stay healthy, he's a good running back. Clyde Edwards-Alaire, LSU guy, so I know you guys will like him. And Josh Jacobs, he is a really good running back out in Vegas, but going to be honest, feels like yeah, we would have to overpay for Jacobs, maybe even Saquon too. But let me know, would you add in a running back this offseason, whether it's the draft or whether it's free agency, would you just add a running back at all? Just give me a yes or no in the comment section because I think it's a need, but I don't think it's a huge need. I just want you guys to let me know what you guys think. So just give me a yes or no in the comment section. Now, let's switch gears from the skill position players. Let's show some love to the big boys. I mean, I was an offensive lineman back in the day. I was a defensive end when I was playing football growing up. And I'll tell you what, those big boys in the trenches win you and lose you football games. So they, we got to talk about them too because they are just as, if not more important than those skill position players. But here's the deal. I got an awesome deal for the Houdat Nation from Fanatics. If you use our link, you see it down below, chatsports.com slash Saints Combo. You can get this sick hat t-shirt combination for 30 percent off so here's the deal my girlfriend i know she ain't watching this video because i'm you know she's not a big football gal but it's okay little does she know her valentine's day present is right here but little does she know for me that hat's mine there you go i'm saving some money and i'm getting my girlfriend a valentine's day gift you do the same with our link down in the comment section and a description of this video all right the 2023 PFF rankings and the grades for the Saints offensive lines, not good. Eric McCoy, thank you for being the one consistently decent part of the offensive line. Andrews Pete had to move out to left tackle after Trevor Penning wasn't good. James Hurst had to fill in at left guard. Cesar Ruiz got the contract extension after finishing the 2022 campaign on a high note. Did not have a good year. Really disappointed, really upset with how Cesar Ruiz played. Ryan Ramchek is a stellar, really talented, like just blue chip offensive lineman. However, he's getting old, he's really banged up, and he's very expensive. So the Saints could look to move on from a guy like Ramchek as well. So in terms of offensive tackles, we'll get to the interior offensive line here in a second, but 
These are some offensive tackles I want you to keep your eyes out on. Trent Brown, Jonah Williams, and Donovan Smith, who just won a Super Bowl with the Kansas City Chiefs. I really like all three of these options to fill in on the outside of that offensive line. But if one of those three guys aren't available or they don't tickle your fancy, what about a Jermaine Illuminor or a Tyron Smith or a Mike Onwenu or a Makai Becton? Tyron Smith, I think, is going to be very, very expensive. Er, excuse me, expensive. Jermaine Illuminor does have familiarity with Derek Carr, but I'm not necessarily sure that they would want to run it back together. So, though it's something to consider, you know, you got to think about the fit, not in terms of the scheme of the game, but in terms of the locker room as well. So, that's something to think about, and that's something whenever we're talking about these free agents that should to be taken into consideration. And I know we were talking about Trevor Penning and him not really panning out, so I just want to ask you guys this question. Is he a bust, or is it too early to put that label on him? Because I, I'm, I personally believe it's a little too early, but this time next year, we can sit here and call him a bust if the production's bad. So I'm going to type my E's, but I can totally understand why some of y'all would type your B's for bust. Just let me know in the comment section, and I want you to be honest with me. So the rushing attack was very, very underwhelming last year. Alma Kamara had a down year. Jamal Williams had a down year. Kendra Miller was good. Again, very limited sample size, though. Not even to mention, Derek Carr got hit a lot at that first half of the season. Second half of the season, the offense was much better as a whole. But that first half, it was really, really hard. It was like pulling teeth watching that game or watching the Saints games. And the offensive line is a big reason for the offensive struggles. Could not get running lanes open for running backs. Could not create time for Derek Carr. Could not with, or hold up the protect, to protection to let plays develop and get the ball out. So I want the Saints to not only address the offensive tackle, but the interior at the offensive guard as well. Because you saw the PFF grades. James or, uh, 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 Cesar Ruiz and Landon Young both did not really fill in that well at all. James Hurst, Landon Young, those three did not play well whatsoever. So... Offensive guard for interior guys, Jonah Jackson, he's a Detroit line. Dalton Reisner signed late in the uh, regular season with the Minnesota Vikings. Robert Hunt, he's probably the number one offensive guard in my book. I really like the player, and y'all remember that play where he was he was diving and trying to get a touchdown, and they marked him short, and it was ridiculous. Anyway, it was really fun. I think that he would be a good fit for the locker room as well. I really like what Robert Hunt can do because he's also a very really talented player in terms of production. But in terms of other offensive guards that you could go look in free agency, Kevin Dotson, Kevin Zietler, those guys might be a little bit more expensive. You may not be able to afford some of those players, but Ezra Cleveland, John Runyon is another option as well. So there's just a ton of free agents. I gave you, I'm not even sure, probably like 10, 15 free agents that the Saints could maybe go and sign. But if you guys have any thoughts that you want to share with me, I encourage you to reach out to me on social media, on X. Formerly known as Twitter, I'm at TraceGerard48. And on Instagram, it's the same exact handle. Made it easy for you so you could find me on all platforms. It's at TraceGerard48. Hit me up. Shoot me a DM. Let me know you came from this video because I'm also not too cool to respond and hit you back up and reply to your DM. So looking forward to hearing from you Saints fans. And as always, y'all stay golden. We'll see you next time.